Geophysics is the application of physics to study the solid Earth, it occupies an important position in Earth sciences. It has been taught principally in Earth sciences departments of universities. It is also used by engineers and archaeologists much more widely than in the past. Geophysics developed from the disciplines of physics and geology, the use of physics to study the interior of the Earth, from land surface to the inner core is known as solid Earth geophysics. Solid Earth geophysics can be subdivided into Global geophysics or pure geophysics And applied geophysics Global geophysics is the study of the whole or substantial parts of the planet. Geophysical methods may be applied to a wide range of investigations from studies of the entire Earth to exploration of a localized region of the upper crust, such as plate tectonics, heat flow, and paleomagnetism. Applied geophysics is the study of the Earth's crust and near surface to achieve an economic aim, or making and interpreting measurements of physical properties of the Earth's crust to determine subsurface conditions usually within economic objectives, for example discovery of fuel or mineral deposits. Applied geophysics embraces the following subjects. 1. Determination of the thickness of the crust, important in hydrocarbon exploration. 2. Study of shallow structures for engineering site investigations. 3. Exploration for groundwater and for minerals and other economic resources. 4. Location of narrow mine shafts or other forms of buried cavities. 5. Mapping of archaeological remains and environmental pollutions. 6. Location of buried pipes and cables. Geophysics, Applications Geophysics can be used to investigate contaminated land to locate polluted areas prior to direct observations using trail pits and boreholes. Large areas can be surveyed quickly at relatively low cost. A geophysical survey is used to locate anomalous areas. Geophysics is also being used much more extensively over landfills and other waste repositories. Geophysics can be used to locate a corroded steel drum containing toxic chemicals which poses the real risk of puncturing it thereby creating a much more significant pollution incident. By using modern geomagnetic surveying methods, the drum's position can be isolated and a careful excavation investigated to remove the object without damage. Such approach is cost-effective and environmentally safe. Exploration seismology used mainly in oil exploration, have been used in academic studies relating to the structure of the Earth's crust and upper mantle. Geophysical measurement within geographically restricted areas are used to determine the distributions of physical properties at depth that reflect the local subsurface geology. An alternative method of geophysical investigation of subsurface geology is drilling a borehole, but this is expensive and provides information only at discrete locations. Geophysical surveying provides a relatively quick and effective means of deriving distributed information on subsurface geology. Engineering Geophysics Engineering geophysics is the application of geophysical methods to the investigation of near-surface physical chemical phenomena which are likely to be significantly important for the management of the local environment. The discipline of engineering geophysics needs to focus the attention of policymakers, investors, and planners. The prime distinction between engineering and environmental geophysics is that the former is concerned with structures and types of materials, while the latter can include mapping variations in pore fluid conductivities to indicate pollution plumes in groundwater. Targets of engineering investigations are situated at shallow depths. Near-surface geophysical methods are adapted from exploration geophysics. Closely spaced grid of observation points is necessary to achieve accurate localization and characterization. Various geophysical methods are combined to enhance the reliability of interpretation. Cost of measurement depends on selected technique, terrain conditions, area size, number of survey stations, required accuracy, depth of penetration, interpretation technique, relatively low-cost methods. Ambiguity of interpretation makes drilling necessary to confirm the results. Engineering problems solved with geophysical methods. Testing the foundations, depth, composition, and lithological structure of bedrock. Physical properties of rocks and dams, tunnels, shafts, pipelines. Surveying the establishments and construction works, railways, 
highways, subways. Geotechnical problems, soil properties, elastic parameters, compaction. Blast planning and analysis, estimation of blast loading on a specific structure, modeling and simulation, risk zones. Location of water, water supply, drainage problems, foundation and transport engineering. Location of older underground excavations, detection of abandoned mine shafts, pipelines, metallic objects. Unexploded Ordnance, UXO, Studies. Snow and Ice Mapping. Archaeologic Objects Surveying. Location and characterization of near-surface geological structures, pore space, faults, fissures, share zones, lithologic variation. Characterization of aquifers, groundwater protection from contamination, salinity of underground water, fresh and salt water contact. Landfill Characterization. Delineation of the margins of buried waste dumps, soil contamination, tracing seepage movement. Exploration for new potential sites for safe disposal of nuclear and chemical waste. Landslides and ground subsidence. Archaeological site delineation. Evaluation of earthquake hazards. Mining problems and safety, detecting tectonic disturbances and fault zones, water inrush. Thickness of impervious layers. The most popular geophysical methods in engineering investigations. Seismic refraction. Seismic tomography, including cross shoal, uphole, and downhole techniques. Multi channel analysis of surface waves. Microgravimetry. Magnetic method. Ground penetrating radar. Electric resistivity, including ERT, electric resistivity tomography. Electromagnetic Methods Applications of Geophysical Methods 1. Hydrocarbon Exploration, Coal, Gas, Oil, Primary Methods, Gravity, Magnetic, Seismic Refraction and Reflection, Electromagnetic Surveying, Magnetotelluric 2. Regional Geological Studies, Over Areas of 100s of Km2, Primary Methods, Gravity, Magnetic, Seismic Refraction and Reflection Multi-channel analysis of surface waves, electromagnetic surveying, magnetotelluric. 3. Exploration of mineral deposits primary methods, gravity, magnetic, seismic reflection, electric resistivity, spontaneous potential, electromagnetic, induced polarization, MVLF, magnetotelluric. 4. Engineering site, roads, railways, tunnels investigation primary methods, gravity, magnetic, Seismic Refraction, Seismic Reflection and Tomography, MASW, Electric Resistivity, Electromagnetic, M, MGPR. 5. Hydrogeological Investigation Primary Methods, Electromagnetic, M, Induced Polarization, MVLF, MGPR, Electric Resistivity, Spontaneous Potential, Gravity, Seismic Reflection, Seismic Refraction. 6. Detection of subsurface cavities primary methods, gravity, seismic refraction, seismic reflection, MASW, electromagnetic, M, MVLF, MGPR, electric resistivity. 7. Mapping of leachate and contaminant plumes and landfills delineation primary methods, seismic refraction, MASW, electric resistivity, electromagnetic, M, MVLF, MGPR. 8. Location and definition of buried metallic objects primary methods, magnetic, seismic refraction, MASW, electromagnetic, M, MGPR, electric resistivity. 9. Archaeogeophysics primary methods, gravity, magnetic, seismic refraction, MASW, electromagnetic, M, MGPR, electric resistivity. 10. Forensic geophysics primary methods, seismic refraction, MASW, MGPR. Gravity Method Surveying method idea, very sensitive spring and mass system, weight is attached to a beam in a spring. Gravity increases, the weight is forced downwards, stretching the spring, the weight forces the beam to rotate. Adjusting the screw moves the beam back to horizontal. Amount the beam moves is proportional to the gravitational force. Measurement Parameter Scale reading is proportional to gravity acceleration. Calibration coefficient is given, 
mgal slash scale reading. Advantage of the method, small size and small weight instrument, rapid measurement, real-time corrections, integrated GPS capability, accuracy tilde 15 gal. Application, detection of cavities, underground voids, mine shafts, tombs, sinkholes, geotechnical applications, density determination, geologic exploration, location of underground karsts, calculation of excess mass. Ground penetrating radar. Transmitter emits high frequency, 25 MHz to 6 GHz, M pulses into the ground, we record the amplitude and travel time of the energy reflected back to the surface. Method responds to variation in dielectric properties and apparent resistivity of the ground. Dielectric constant is directly proportional to attenuation and travel time of M waves, velocity of M waves in fresh water is 0, 034 M slash NS. Relative dielectric permittivity of fresh water is 80, that of dry sand is 3, that of saturated sand is 2030, that of clays is 540, shales 515. Ground Penetrating Radar Applications Paleontologic Investigation Forensic GPR Survey GPR Survey at Construction Site Road and Railway Structure Survey Sinkhole Detection Ice and Snow Thickness Detection UXO, Unexploded Ordnance, Detection Soil Moisture Detection Underground Voids, Cavities, Cracks Detection Proton Magnetometer, GSM-19 The Earth's magnetic field is considered as a homogeneous magnetic field in local scale. Local magnetic anomalies are caused by subsurface bodies having different susceptibilities and magnetization. Superposition of the normal and local, anomalous, field is observed in NT units. Direction of anomalous magnetic field is compared to that of the ambient field. Magnetic Components Total Component B or T. Horizontal component, H. Vertical component, Z. Inclination, I. Declination, D. Proton magnetometer, GSM-19, applications. Survey of municipal waste. Magnetic field maps over landfill. Ancient mud brick structures. Ditch structures. Detection of pipelines. UXO, unexploded ordnance. Detection Multi-channel analysis of surface waves Seismic signals from these surveys consist of wavelets with frequencies higher than 50 Hz. The multi-channel analysis of surface waves MASW, method deals with surface waves in the lower frequencies, for example, 1 to 30 Hz, and uses a much shallower depth range of investigation, for example, a few to a few tens of meters. Shear modulus is directly linked to a material's stiffness and is one of the most critical engineering parameters. Seismically, shear wave velocity, versus, is its best indicator. Although methods like shear wave refraction, downhole, and cross-shoal surveys can be used, they are generally less economical than any other seismic methods in terms of field operation, data analysis, and overall cost. Shear wave velocity, versus, Information of subsurface materials is directly related to the stiffness property of the materials, which is the key property dealt in all geotechnical engineering projects. In this sense, the MASW method can be applied to any geotechnical engineering project that requires subsurface mapping of the stiffness in 1D, 2D, and 3D formats. In general, MASW applications can be grouped into following categories. Soil bedrock mapping seismic site characterization, anomaly detection, compaction evaluation, and grouting evaluation. The most common type of application has been the soil bedrock mapping that delineates topographic boundary between soil and bedrock by an interface of significant velocity, versus, increase, for example, from 300 m sec to 1000 m sec. It also shows vertical and horizontal variation of soil stiffness by displaying velocity, versus, variations within the soil range, for example, 100 m sec, 300 m sec. This boundary often shows a gradual change in velocity over a certain depth range rather than a sharply defined interface, indicating the possible weathered zone on top of the bedrock. More recently, 
applications to detect subsurface anomalies are merging. These anomalies may include localized low-velocity zones created by various reasons such as existing utility tunnels, void development due to collapse, severely weathered bedrock, loss of cohesiveness in filled materials, etc. In this case, the detection is often facilitated by non-velocity mapping approaches such as backscattering analysis and common offset section generation. Another type of application is the performance evaluation that is executed before and after a specific operation is applied. This includes the compaction evaluation for surface and shallow subsurface materials during road and building construction. It also includes the evaluation of grouting performance. The seismic site characterization requires an evaluation of an average shear wave velocity, versus, for the top 30 m, or 100 foot, depth. This is the most common 1D, i.e., depth, application of MASW method, 